All right, everyone, and we are back with the war map layout for War 6. As a reminder, you might hear kids and a TV in the background. Uh, thank your officers for the work that they put into planning because it is quite, quite a difficult task and long. And also, this is just a suggestive uh, matchup slash planning video. All right, so taking a look at bands this war, we have Ghost, Human Torch, and Apocalypse Band. Uh, so the usual Ghost, Human Torch, and then the third option, this is the second time with Apocalypse. Right into Boss Island, we got a Weapon X boss. You guys have seen me take this with Sentinel, so Sentinel's an option. Also Warlock, maybe even Magneto with uh, the synergy that causes heal block when knocking down. Um, you probably even use Man-Thing. Uh, so plenty of options for Weapon X here, not an uncommon boss. Uh, Sorcerer here we've seen, S99, Mr. Fantastic, Archangel, you could use magic, so it's a very usual place, placement for her. Guardian, this is kind of new, you can probably get away with uh, Magne Magneto, you could use Ca uh, Captain Marvel movie with the Fury synergy. Um, you could also probably use Venom Pool or Claire here as well and just play it safe with Claire and avoid it placing incinerates. All right, moving on to this mojo, I would probably suggest someone who has some sort of power control where it's not debuff related, so a vision, maybe rogue, but we've never tried rogue. Um, you could probably still try Archangel, might be a bit of a risk. There might even be a argument that S99 still works here with the white Magneto pre-fight. Um, so mojo here, pretty tricky now that Apocalypse is out. And then uh, Chavez here, I would use I-Bomb. Could use Tigra, could also use uh, Diablo. Uh, there are a few options here for her placement here. It's just avoiding too many heavy attacks from her and interrupting them. Ma here, kind of tricky. I would think maybe Tigra or Archangel. There might be an argument for S99 or Mr. Negative. Um, just depends. It's not a, not a common placement, so I haven't seen a lot of counters. And with Human Torch out... And even Apocalypse, there's no cable um, option for this. So this could get somewhat tricky. Uh, yeah. Modoc here on Shifting Hazards. I would assume Angela will work, maybe even with Odin Prefights to help her SIG ability if it's low. Um, Kingpin will work. Uh, Captain Marvel movie I've used before there and then storm here you probably get away with a warlock and trying to kill her quick a duped warlock um, her sp1 is pretty easy to dodge so it would just be blocking um, hits for the high ground so even Claire or uh, nebula um, someone with dot I'd probably just ignore the high ground and try and end her quick that way the high ground doesn't build up to five plus um, Nimrod actually probably just smokes her, and then you don't have to worry about prowess um, and unblockable. So, moving on, Section 2, Infinity War, Iron Man here on uh, Buffet, and uh, Chitinous Thorns. Um, Magneto is the only one that comes to mind, but if his armor ups don't count for the bleed, then Void would work. Warlock would probably work with White Magneto pre-fight. Um, this one, again, a little bit tricky with the options that we have left. Um, I guess technically Nebula could even work if you can get to SB2 um, with a APB. Path 1, nothing problematic. If a Magneto is going this way, you can take Annihilus and then just bring a smart counter for Human Monkey, or Hit Monkey there, Human Monkey. Um, I would probably go Mole Man here and just avoid dexing back, so relying on parries heavily until you're baiting special attacks. And then I'd probably use that Mole Man here or even Omega Red and just avoid parrying you can go ahead and uh, retaliate his heavy with a heavy so you can keep the strike counter rotation probably a killmonger or falcon here he probably still will evade with falcon um, or a champion with slow so maybe a shang uh, obviously avoid hitting block too much and then man thing here um, any other nullify so like claire would probably work here uh, just have to be very, very particular about keeping that buff immunity up to prevent the bleeds. Professor X here on EMP, probably use um, Warlock and try and get it down quick, or use Stark Spider-Man. He'd work building up charges, trigger the miss, and then go ahead and go to town, and he'll die probably in 10 hits. Um, and then Ultron, probably a good option as well. 
Uh, any other option, like maybe Hercules could end that with an Odin pre-fight as well. Uh, Magneto here would probably first suggest a Nimrod, probably the easiest. Um, and then after that, probably hard to say, like you'd need something, probably Claire. Claire would probably handle it pretty well. Um, that mighty charge can just make it tricky and not being able to, able to prevent the buff from that would suck. Uh, path four, man thing here, you can use a, um... Poison immune, so like a warlock or an eye bomb. Well, eye bombs that that would be unblockable. Um, or you can use someone like S99 or Mr. Negative. Here, I'd probably use Mole Man, Fury, Shang, Shang. Um, path five here for Magneto. I'd probably still use S99, um, maybe even Mole Man because he's shock immune. Um, it's just managing that aura through the fight and uh, finding your your windows to uh, intercept. And then here you can use CMM. You could actually quake all of five if you'd want, if you wanted to, since it's not banned. Um, and maybe even uh, Dragon Man. Uh, here, this path I'd probably take with Nimrod since you've got the Magneto at the end. You can also use uh, War Machine or Ultron and then Super Scroll here, Archangel. You're just gonna try and avoid the return policy. So even um, Claire would work, but obviously try and keep buff immunity up as much as possible and kind of power drain him, so maybe in Plague. And then Warlock here for this domino. Um, I've seen Claire take this as well, so if you happen to not have a Warlock going this way, but you have a Claire, then you can probably get away with Claire there as well. Uh, long shot here, Mr. Negative, um, S99. You could juggle it around it with magic if you wanted to. Um, Path 7 here, Fury, Mole Man, probably even Kingpin. So not really too difficult to fight Archangel um, for this Human Torch. And then Magneto or Quake for Penny here. Um, those are the most two common, or those are the two common counters there. Here you can probably use uh, Claire. Uh, you could even use CGR. Um, just watch out for that special lock timing. And then here, um, probably use Claire again. Um, Void, shoot, uh, Mr. Fantastic. Here I'd probably use CGR, wait until the sh uh, bleed cycle, and then start going through the parry or the uh, SB2 rotation. You can parry to wait out till you get to the bleed to avoid the shock. Um, Angela probably works here too with a synergy team. Um, it's kind of tough for the other options without giving him a bunch of power. I'm, I mean, I'm sure Terax still works here too, <laughs> uh, especially if you get an armor break during the rock field. And then here I'd probably use Havoc and he'd, he'd probably just dot damage him to death or detonate. So not actually too many options here unless you bring in Odin pre-fight and use someone like uh, Rolk or Void and fight during the shock phase and basically avoid attacking during the uh, bleed cycle. And then Void here, my go-to would be Kingpin or um, Mole Man, Kingpin with Hood, uh, and then maybe Fury, just really avoiding blocked hits and trying to knock him over with Fury if you want to get rid of any debuffs. Um, but not too problematic, it's just avoid disorient and then additional damage. Here, Nova, probably Magneto, I'd say Claire is pretty risky. Um, you can probably get away with Doom if you did just medium, light, heavy, um, and then do SB3s. Then you never have to worry about Mixmaster. Um, but this one definitely could be kind of interesting. Um, heck, maybe even Dragon Man would work, and you just let the power gain build. Um, here, uh, probably first option is to use an Incinerate Immune. I'm sure Ultron works. Just watch the power gain. You use Rolk, um, you can use Void. Uh, it's obviously just look out for the power snack. Void would actually probably be the best because you can probably keep him low uh, and firing very few special attacks through the fight. All right, section one, uh, Sasquatch here. Probably rec recommend Warlock first off for the yield block um, since it is passive. Uh, and then outside of that, maybe S99. Mr. Negative, again, gets super sketchy here with masochism. Um, 
And yeah, not too many, not too many standout options there. Path one, I'd probably use a Falcon here, uh, or yeah, probably just a Falcon, maybe Fury, since he can manage rock stacks without doing masochism. And then Doom here would be an easy, easy, but you can also use uh, Void with Resonate on as well. Path two here, could probably use Doom or Claire or Omega Red um, for this fight. I'd probably APB with a Mega Red. Um, that way you can uh, get to SB2 and not lose the field. And then Void, you could use Quake. Um, probably even use uh, S99 or Mr. Negative for Dragon Man here. So he's not too much of a problem there. Path 3, probably use Warlock here for I-Bomb. Uh, and then for... The white magneto before it or any poison immune obviously for eye bomb um, and then the white magneto before it i'd probably use claire maybe havoc um yeah any any nullify or shock immune option that isn't magnetized or isn't metal um so not too problematic of one through three Moving on, four through five, we got Hercules here. Nothing too special about this. You could use any counter like Doom, um, a Nullifier Claire. Uh, I could probably even use anyone you're going to use on path four here. Here, I'd probably go Mole Man and Kingpin and just nuke her down. Just be mindful. Your abilities might fail as far as dex um, goes. So block bait everything as much as you can. But it should be a quick fight. Here, I would suggest Nimrod now that he's out. Um, just because he'll remove prowess, so you can reliably parry heavy here. Um, but Silver Centurion, Guardian, G99 are options as well. I Hulk here. Um, can use a Warlock or a Falcon. My only suggestion would be to uh, build to SP3, parry and knock him down with a heavy, and then drop the SP3 and then just look out when he's unblockable, hit into block. Uh, seven through nine here, Craven. Just be mindful with Craven that he's gonna reduce the stun timer on parry if you're not using a white Magneto pre-fight. Um, but learn his specials, know his traps, and you can take him pretty much anyone here. Probably use Claire, Void, Mr. Fantastic, even Doom, um, and just avoid relying on Power Drain or Power Steel here. Probably Claire, um, Doom as well, again, just watch this power gain from return policy, um, and you should be fine. And then path nine here with Havoc. I'd probably use Warlock here first, but I know Captain Marvel movie also works. You just got to look out for that indestructible. And then you could use her here against Arcus. Um, if not, this whole path could probably even use Emma with Colossus. And then you just use Colossus on this path. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see catch you guys at War Attack.